Okay, again, good morning, everyone. We'll be jumping now to our topic. By the way, how was your activity last time? It was fine, sir. Yeah. I finished it. It's quite good, right? Yeah. Made me cry. Of course. It is a major distraction in our country, actually. It's one of the major distractions of the country. Well, anyway, let's continue now with our lesson. I will be sharing my screen. We'll be talking about typhoons. Right? Can you see my shared screen now? Again, everyone, please turn on your camera. I can only see Janine here. EM. I have only three students. Again? Okay. Okay, you cannot blame me in case. Yes, sir. All right? So let's move now to typhoons. Now, we'll be discussing about how the typhoons are actually created or generated. How, how destructus or how can this actually affect us through the destructions? And what are the preparations to be for us to, you know, to do for a typhoon? At the same time, where does these typhoons actually generated, right? What are also the factors that makes typhoon stronger? And what are the factors that makes the typhoon weaker? Let's move now to the next slide. Typhoon meaning, okay? Typhoon, the Greek word typhoon means whirlwind. Actually, it is whirlwind. And refers to a god who is also a monster and is personified as the father of wind. Typhoon has been in use since 1500s, including in records of ship voyages to East Indies. It is actually used um, even the four times. Okay? A typhoon is a powerful and large tropical cyclone. It is a low pressure area that rotates counterclockwise. Remember the Coriolis effect? Coriolis effect. Are you familiar with Coriolis? Yes. Okay. Typhoon now turns counterclockwise because of the Coriolis effect. Right? And it contains warm air that rises over forms of warm water. Typhoons can bring terrible damage due to thunderstorm, torrential rain and flooding, violent winds, incredible and extremely high tides, and tidal surges. Typhoon force winds can range up to 25 from 25 um, MPH to 150 MPH. Tropical storm winds can reach up to 300 miles per hour. Okay. Question so far? None, sir. Okay. A typhoon by any other name still spins fast. Take note. A typhoon by any other name still spins fast. That because the typhoon definition is the same as the hurricane. Again, the definition of a typhoon is the same as the hurricane, cyclone, or tropical storm. Okay? A giant rotating system of clouds and storms characterized by low pressure and intensely strong winds. The only difference and its naming comes from where in the world it originates. Again, typhoon is the same definition as the hurricane, cyclones, and tropical storms. Okay. What differs them is the naming, where they are actually generated or originated. Like for example, Uh, when you say tropical depression, it is actually uh, term as a typhoon, tropical depression. It started, tropical cyclones are also called as tropical depression. A tropical cyclone reaches 
it up to 300 yes. minutes per hour. Yes, correct. And again, the hurricane is actually in term used by North Pacific. While typhoon is actually used by Northwest Pacific. And the cyclone is actually used by Indian Ocean. Pacific and Indian Ocean. So more or less, they're actually the same. What differs them is they where? Where they actually originates. Okay. The term there is where? Where they actually originates. A hurricane in Japan is actually called a typhoon. Why? Because the storm began in the Western Pacific. Again, if it is in the Western Pacific, it is called typhoon. The word, the, the word hurricane is reserved for Atlantic and Eastern Pacific storms. Meanwhile, the one that I discussed just a while ago, in the Indian Ocean, hurricanes are known as cyclones. A typhoon can grow to produce damaging winds, storm surges, and tidal waves, torrential rain, flooding, and other major damage. This happens when the condition of warm tropical waters and relatively high moisture persists for a significant period of time. Remember that these typhoons will not actually you know, emerge, um, emerge directly. No, it is actually gradual. So meaning to say, we still have time to evacuate. We still have time to prepare for, for typhoons. Because of this, most typhoons in the Northern Hemisphere occur in the summer or early fall months. At the Atlantic hurricane se season, is officially from June 1 to November 30. However, that is no hard and fast rule as these storms sometimes occur earlier or later in the year too. Why? We'll be discussing also why some typhoons are actually that thus very devastating, while also some typhoons actually don't have um, a, 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 a track to follow. Sometimes they go to the Philippine area of responsibility. Sometimes they go to somewhere like in Japan or in China. Let's um, dig deeper why these typhoons um, sometimes go in the different uh, directions. Due to the Earth's rotation and resulting weather patterns, most typhoons rotate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Remember, the Coriolis effect and the Borealis effect. Land masses and bodies of water. What are the effects of these land masses and bodies of water in some storms? They affect typhoons based on what or how strong the energy is released by the landforms and the bodies of water. Typhoons gain energy from warm ocean. Remember, we are near the Pacific Ocean and lose energy over cold water. Interaction with the land will weaken the typhoon. This will answer now the question why Philippines is considered or coined as the, the capital of typhoons. Why? Because we are actually located near the Pacific Ocean. And remember that these bodies of water can actually generate a lot of evaporation and a lot of precipitation. Remember evaporation and precipitation? Yes, Rabi. Um, sir, um, where's the capital of, you know, what's it called? Where's the typhoon capital in the Southeast Asia? Because we're like the first target to be hit by the typhoon since they generate right beside us. Correct. Because we are actually located near the Pacific Ocean. That's the reason why. And we have a lot of waters. Philippines is rich in natural resources and Philippines is rich in water. That is why. And remember that these waters eventually evaporate because of the next topic. We'll be discussing that one also. Why there are faster evaporation and there are faster also precipitation. Precipitation is raining. Okay. Typhoons gain energy from warm ocean water and lose energy over cold water. Interaction with the land will weaken the typhoon. Remember that if a typhoon also travels in some land masses like mountains, 
it will be weakened. Why? Because there's no water that's supplying it. Remember that these typhoons needs a lot of water, needs a lot of a lot of evaporation. Where's Janine? Is Janine around? Um, she she was here earlier. She's still here. No. Okay. Let's continue. Oh, Janine is here. So again, this is actually in the Pacific Ocean, and this is a mountain here. If a typhoon passes to a mountain, it will be weakened because there is no water that's supplying it. And if it passes to a body of water, it will actually uh, getting stronger because it actually gains a lot of water to evaporation. Question so far? Janine? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move now to monsoon winds. Damihan na nabagat. Are you familiar with this? You can yes, hear sir. through weather reports, right? Amihan and abagat. Okay. Amihan and abagat refers to two kinds of winds, the seasons that occur in the country every year. This is seasonal winds. Okay. Amihan and abagat are seasonal winds. Amihan is known as the northeast monsoon, while habagat is known as the southwest monsoon. Okay. Monsoon is the seasonal rain and wind pattern. Again, monsoon. Is from the Arabic word mausim, which means season. Okay. A switch in wind direction is the primary indicator for the change between one monsoon to other. It is usually takes place during night time. At some periods, the two monsoons switch several times before setting into a pattern for, se for the season. Let's take a look at the deeper meaning of amihan. Okay. Wait. Let's look at the deeper meaning of amihan. Amihan is the Filipino term for northeast monsoon which is a cool and dry northeast wind coming from Siberia and China and blew down to Southeast Asia. This season is characterized by slight moderate rainfall with prevailing cold wind that affects east of the Philippines. The monsoon commonly occurs in October to late March, although the occurrence may be every year. High peak season in the Philippines during the Amihan season since it brings the best weather condition, the air is cool, there is less rain and humidity is low, thus the sunshine is less threatening. Northeast monsoon contributes to colder Christmas nights. So supposed to be, we are now, actually we are actually experiencing the Amihan. It is now Amihan, uh, the season for rain and the cold season, which gives better ambience to fit the festive season. Habagat, however, on the other hand, is the southwest wind characterized with frequent heavy rainfall and humid weather. Humid meaning to say alimuot, humid, humidity. Uh, it is alimuot and when, when there is humidity, 